is a delicious dinner, Aunt Lily. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. I thought Chinese food would be good for a change. More filet of dragon, Grandpa? <laughs> well, thank you. Goes good on a chilly day. <laughs> you haven't eaten one thing on your plate, young man. I don't feel like eating. Maybe he doesn't feel well. He isn't green around the gills like he usually is. Nonsense. Eddie, you clean your plate. Look at Boris. He cleaned everything off his plate like a good little boy. <laughs> he even ate his spinach. He knows the value of iron in his system. <laughs> and stop picking at your food. And sit up straight like Boris. Boris, Boris, Boris! I don't want to play. I said I don't want to play! Oh, Eddie! Eddie, well, that was uncalled for. Now you march upstairs and put your jammies on. Boy, everybody hates me! Ooh. Just for that... You can't take your cold water bottle to bed with you tonight. <laughs> oh. Hi, Boris. <laughs> what? Oh, you want me to read you a bedtime story? <laughs> Amazing how we understand each other. I guess the old wheels up here are really synchronized. <laughs> Get up in your old Uncle Hermie's lap. <laughs> there we go. Now, which one do you want me to read first? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, this one. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh, good. That's my favorite one, too. I can hardly wait until they make it into a movie with Doris Day. <laughs> Once upon a time, right in the middle of the forest, Goldilocks found this great big house and she decided to go inside. <laughs> Boy, this is neat, isn't it, Boris? <laughs> and then the middle sized bear said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? And then the teeny weeny weeny tiny bear said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? And then they all went in into the <laughs> poor little tyke sound asleep. <laughs> That's quite understandable, Herman. He's been pretty wound up all day. <laughs> oh, Herman, Herman, Eddie isn't in his room. Oh, I sent him up to bed, but he's not there. What? Eddie's gone? He can't be! Sorry, Boris, I didn't mean to wake you. <laughs> Marilyn even looked in the attic, and he's not hanging from the rafters. Quick, Grandpa! You go that way, Lily, you go that way, and I'll go this way! Hey, man! Will you relax? Come with me. Why do we just have to go about it the right way? It's your fault. You hurt Eddie's feelings, and now he's run away from home. But Lily... Uncle Herman, he's not in the house. I've looked everywhere. Spot. Spot's the one who can find Eddie. Here, give me Eddie's jacket. <laughs> if anyone can sniff like a bloodhound, it's Spot. <laughs> Are you there, Spotty? No. Oh, good boy. Now, Spotty, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sniff this coat and lead us to Eddie. <laughs> With a sniffer like that, he can't miss. Don't find Eddie's butt. Go fetch. <laughs> I'll get him. 
Down spot. Down spot. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Eddie. What are you doing up in that tree? Come down here this instant. I won't. I'm going to stay up here till I crow. Because nobody loves me. Nobody cares. Oh, Eddie, we all love you. We love you from the bottom of your little hoofs to the top of your little pointed ears. <laughs> Eddie, we all love you very much. But Pop likes Boris better. I saw him reading him stories and stuff. That's right, I was, son. But I was merely trying to repay a kindness that he did to me. After all, he got my newspapers, my footstool, and I was just trying to be considerate to him in return. <laughs> That's a lesson I learned years ago in an old Andy Hardy picture. <laughs> Come, son. Boy, Pop, I'm sorry I misunderstood you, but you love me, don't you? Oh, of course he does, Eddie. It's just that sometimes your father is too stupid to show it. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Eddie, your little Betty bike will feel good. I changed the lining today. <laughs> now Boris is gone. <laughs> Forest. Don't go. Be a good boy. Stay right here. Oh, he certainly looks like he was serious about running away. Oh, boy, you ain't kidding. Look at this. He took his oil can and, and, and his wrench with him. <laughs> Forrest, how could you do this to your own family? How could you leave your happy, happy home? <laughs> oh, you thought that you were responsible for Eddie leaving home. But you weren't, Boris. It was all my own fault. I was acting like a real dope. Please don't run away. You won't, will you? <laughs> you know something? You're the greatest playmate a guy could ever have. Oh, see? He thinks you are one, too. 